Hi, welcome to the Air Manager API tutorial video series. In this video we're going to be looking at groups. Here we are again on the um, Wiki API page and I've scrolled down here to the uh, group section and you can see um, we've got a few functions here related to group. Uh, the primary uh, functions that we're going to be uh, covering um, cover adding a, a group, so that's kind of creating a, a group from scratch, uh, group object add, so that's adding additional items to a group, and group object remove, um, removing items from a group. And then how to manipulate uh, those groups once you have items uh, collected in the groups um, with um, some of the common uh, node functions and additionally ro rotate. So we've previously covered the move, visible, opacity and viewport rect and um, the rotate function for some of the other nodes. So you can use this group with uh, any of the uh, um, items that are classed as uh, node within the uh, Air Manager API. So that's lots of things like images and buttons and uh, dials and lots of uh, the other items that uh, fall into the, the node group. And you can group them into groups and manipulate those groups um, as one uh, collection rather than having to do them all individually which comes in handy when you're, uh, you've got lots of those items in an instrument and you, and you say want to uh, move them, shift them or show them with visibility or, or do some other kind of manipulation of those items altogether. So, and then we're probably going to, um, we'll talk a little bit, although we've covered uh, the move visible opacity and viewport rect uh, when, we, when we talked about the node section, we will just cover them briefly as part of the groups because they do behave uh, ever so slightly differently when you're using them with a the group so we'll just cover them very quickly just so uh, you can just see how they affect um, the individual nodes when they're in a, a group so that's 100% uh, clear. So let's delve into the uh, code window so I've got an ex a few examples uh, set up here again as uh, per usual and um, we'll start with um, the adding of um, a node. So what I've got set up here is I've got some different um, types of node. So here I've added um, some node IDs. Um, we need to refer to those again in a minute, very similar to lots of the other code that we've covered so far. And I've just called them node, node 2 and node 3 ID. Uh, so the first node I'm adding is a, an image. And we're not going to talk about that too much. We've covered how to uh, add images uh, in previous video tutorials. Um, a button add. Uh, again, we've we've covered how to do uh, button ads, and we've also covered how to do text ad. That's the third one uh, is text. So three different types of node there, just to give a, a flavour of an, ex an example of how you can mix and match these uh, different node types within a group. So then the very next line after those initial uh, ads of those th three different um, types is we're going to say group ID. So we're going to give the uh, the name of the group an ID, and then we're going to say group ad node ID which is our node ID here so a node ID 1 and node ID 2 you can put as many or as little as you want you have to have one of course um, to start the group but you could start the group with just node ID uh, there the very first one and not add any more but I'm going to add I'm going to add my first one so my image and I'm, I'm going to add my button into my group to set up my group and then the following two um, functions here the group object add enables me to add uh, an additional object and then remove an object. So you can see I've got an example here with the group object add where uh, I'm saying I want to add node 3 into that group. So originally the group was just the first two, now I'm saying I want to add node 2 and then later on we'll uncomment this out and when we'll remove one of the nodes, uh, node 2 in this uh, particular example. So you can see how you can add and remove uh, particular items to the group if you so wish. Uh, and how you can set up the initial group or what uh, happens with a lot of cases how I tend to use it is I, I send, tend to if I know I've got lots of things to go into the group but I'm doing it uh, slowly as I'm, I'm progressing through my code I might set the group up with just the first item once I've got that group name uh, and you don't obviously have to call it group underscore ID that's just what I've, I've chosen for this example um, you give it a meaningful um, group ID name and then as you progress through your code, add in a further items. If you know they need to be part of that group, you can just use this group object add after you've added it just to literally say, well, the same group ID as I've already created, just please add this new item. And you just keep doing that. And then obviously 
much later in your code when you want to start manipulating the group you can just refer to that group uh, ID and you can uh, apply that um, manipulation to all those items in the group so let's um, let's uncomment the uh, the additional add one there f just for a minute and we'll see um, we'll see what we get so we've just added uh, the first two items there we'll run the uh, code and see what that gives us so you can see there um, what we've got is we've got the image add which is this big switch here which is the 100 by 100 pit this is this image here then we've got the button add which I'm using the switch switch graphic and the button press um, graphic to be the on one so you can see that when I push that you get the button it's very crude but it just demonstrates that that's that's a button and, and not an image and then the last one is um, the text um, add function where I've added the words test and there they are there so they're all still there as, as normal and as part of the group I've just added the first two items but I've not done anything with the group yet so we're just going to have a little look um, now and, and see um, what happens so if I have say for instance I want to um, let's sorry I shouldn't have really uncommented that one so okay so no difference there we've now added the third item here a group object add to add node 3 I've got all three um, items now part of my group and I'm going to start um, manipulating that group to see um, see what happens so we'll start with the rotate function um, we'll uncomment that and we'll see what happens with rotate So what you can see now with rotate is the switch, the actual default switch PNG image um, that I've used in some of the other previous videos, and as you can see in this one, you can see now for the first item uh, the image which is able to take uh, rotate. If you go to the, um, in fact, let's go back and do that very quickly. Um, if you go back to uh, image, you can see that um, rotate is something you're allowed to use with images. Okay and it's also you can use it with text rotate is there but you see for button which is the other one that we're using there is no rotate so you can't use rotate for button so when it comes to um, the, gr the group use um, let's just go back to the code window when I say rotate what's actually happened there is even though I've got all three items added initially I did the, f the first two and then added the third one on afterwards I'm saying please rotate the group 45 degrees now that doesn't so that that essentially looks at every single um, node ID within that group and tries to rotate it 45 degrees but it only will do the ones that are, you can actually um, do i.e. the ones that, that we've just looked at on the wiki API so we know that the um, image is allowed to be rotated so you can see the default image is with this little uh, white tick mark over in this position here so you can see that's been rotated 45 degrees that one the button one because you can't use rotate with button that hasn't moved okay so it's still in its uh, original position so although it's part of the group it you can't apply rotate to it so it won't move and then the text again you can use rotate with text and you can see how the text now is rotated through 45 degrees so that's an important thing to note in terms of you can't just use rotate on uh, items or nodes that can't be rotated it will only apply to those items that can be rotated so let's turn the rotate off go back to well the, there you can see the, um, the little tick mark in its original position so now we're going um, to look at um, move so now what I'm, I'm doing with this here now is I'm I'm essentially choosing the group ID again same as for the rotate and all these other functions you have to tell it the group ID at the very beginning and then I'm saying that I want to move the group to start at the X position of 10 pixels uh, I don't want to change, oh sorry, I do want to change the Y position as well. I want to make that zero. So 10 pixels in from the end and Y is zero. So it's going to be right up here somewhere. Uh, and I'm not going to change the width and the height. So I want to move this group over to that location. So let's have a look and see what happens there. So now you can see it's essentially moved all the group. 
they say representative with one another in terms of the distances apart from one another. They're not getting any closer or anything, but I've just moved the whole group now over to this um, location. So you can see how you can still keep the formatting of your instrument in terms of where text and images and buttons are located, but you can shift them all as one group. Um, left, right, up, down, whatever you want. Now it's I've got these set as nil at the moment. These two are width and height. So you can, if you want to, um, you can play with the width and height. Uh, for moving items, uh, you would probably just tend to leave these as nil and not want to affect the width or the height. Um, you'd probably just want to play with the X and the Y values. Because what will happen is if you don't get these width and heights exactly right um, for the whole group, um, you'll see that you'll get some distortion. So now you can see these are a little distorted how uh, this is all uh, crammed. This is a 200 by 200 instrument. So you can see now it's it's crammed the whole group into 100 pixels by 100 pixels. And if you played with those numbers um, in some weird way, you get weird results. So it's probably best to not play I mean you might want to if you wanted to scale the whole group but you'd have to be you'd have to make sure that you worked out what those width and height uh, scales were so that you didn't end up with the distortion of um, the items that you see appearing on the on the screen there so let's just make that normal again there we go so that's move visible is really straightforward um, it basically just applies the visibility um, to each of the individual items and because all of these items can take uh, the visible if we say here group ID false it will hide the whole group in one uh, easy line there rather than having to do it. You can imagine I've only got three here but if you had a group of say uh, 20 or 30 items and you had them all in a group you could just say true or false then you could show or hide the whole instrument so handy for if you want to do a multi-paid instrument and you, there's lots of objects that you do or don't want to show when you when you change sort of uh, menus and, and you want to uh, show a completely different page uh, you can just hide all of those items and so uh, in a group in, in one statement like that and uh, show the show the other items uh, for the next page so let's go ahead and just uh, show that so there you go uh, the group ideas is now uh, the visibility is now set to false so nothing will show and then we change that back to um, true and run the instrument again and we should see them all appear again there they are so that's uh, visible fairly straightforward opacity again is um, straightforward again it does a similar thing to visible but now it's applying the opacity um, to all of the individual items again this um, opacity as we've covered um, I think before um, ranges from 0 to 1 so one being fully visible like this and zero being nothing at all. So I've chose uh, 0.5. Uh, so you should see that all of the items are affected uh, in the same way. So let's go ahead and run that. You can see how you could change the opacity for all the items in one group, just in one go ra again, rather than changing them individually uh, as we've done there. And you can obviously play around with this um, to be whatever number you need it to be to give you the effect that you uh, that you need so oops so that's uh, that's opacity there we have it and then the last one is um, viewport rect so viewport rect um, will enable you to um, apply a, a viewport uh, rec to the to the group here so it's only applying it to the group so for the purposes of this what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncomment whoops I'm going to uncomment this additional image that uh, I've got at the beginning here let's just uncomment the viewport rec for a minute just so that we can see what that looks like with that additional image just for the purposes of showing it here so okay so I've added another uh, button image here quite large 140 by 140 pixels we've still got our um, larger switch and our smaller switch and our word test there for the three elements uh, that we added previously um, but we've got this um, 
additional item there's no I've not given it any ID on the beginning here on purpose but even if I did as long as that ID wasn't um, in the group which we haven't added it to our group it shouldn't be affected by the viewport rect so if we go ahead now and apply that apply the viewport rect to the group ID which is the three other items there you should see that um, the first image you see is still there, the circle, and now I've got this this view rectangle um, here starting at this uh, x and y position and this width and this this height, and I've applied that to my group. So you can see the text is actually outside of the bounds of that viewport rect, so it's not appearing at all. The big um, switch there, you can just see the middle of it, but the edges are being cut off because they're outside of the viewport rect, and the same with the the, the bottom one there, just the bottom heart. Um, Se section uh, of the switch graphic there is being cut off because that's outside of the viewport rec so you can see that the viewport rec only affects those items that are in the uh, in the group so let's uncomment that and uncomment this and then we're just going to very quickly just go um, and uncomment the uh, visible again and just show you the remove uh, function so the remove um, what we're going to do here is just get these items back up just so we're back to uh, where we are again okay so then now if we use the remove uh, now because we've we've sorry um, because we are going to say um, we're going to say false now so we're going to hide all the group items so we're going to hide all three items there because they're all in the group so they've all been hidden now if we show the uh, if we um, uncomment the group object remove um, function we're going to say now on that group ID can you remove node 2 um, from that group so now um, by the time we get down to here that group ID now is only referring to uh, no the node ID and the node 3 ID so the the big uh, switch image and the text so the little one is no longer part of the group anymore so when we do um, visible false you can see only the big one and the text have actually been um, applied that visible false the other one is still uh, in its state from when it was originally added because uh, it's no longer now part of the group so you can see how you can add or remove items from the group as you uh, as you see fit in terms of uh, what operation or whether or not they get affected by whatever you do with these rotate move visible opacity and viewport rect so that is pretty much uh, groups, very powerful in terms of uh, adding lots of things into groups and using uh, them uh, together in a, in a group to obviously manipulate them without doing lots of individual lines of code, turning uh, lots of different uh, nodes on and off. I think that concludes uh, this video. Please join me again soon.